Hi Sagittarius, welcome in. Thank you for joining and thank you for liking the video. Okay, so we are going to start with a money and career section first. Don't try to force a message to fit, okay? Let's see when it comes to, ooh, good thing, ooh. More after, okay, so more money after hardship. Some of you guys may be experiencing a bit of a hardship, okay? Or maybe you feel like, you know, your penny pension or those of you that felt like you had to penny pinch. I see some sort of comeback from that. I don't know how. King of Pentacles tells me you guys could be investing into things, okay? But if you feel strapped or you feel, some of you guys feel like you're having the penny pinch, I'm definitely seeing a comeback from that. Let's see. We got the moon. Okay. I think some of you guys might just be afraid of the unknown. This could be why you are watching your spending here. Okay. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. I see some deception surrounding your finances. Okay, so just you know, keep keep your personal items, you know, locked up, things like that. Okay, don't don't keep your purse in your car, your wallet in your car. Okay, make sure you have it on you at all times when you're out in public. All right. I'm also getting, be very mindful, pay attention to your bank account, okay, there may be some sort of, I'm getting fraudulent behavior, like, I'm not trying to overly paranoid anyone, but I'm getting, like, some sort of, something's a scam, or someone's trying to scam you. So however that could pertain to you, Sagittarius, just be very mindful. I'm also getting like, there could be someone around you asking you for money here, okay? They're trying to scam you. Just be mindful of that. You don't have to always be so generous. If you think something is, is a scam, it probably is. I'm also seeing something about your investments paying off. Okay, if you're someone that has invested into something, I do see a return in your investment here when it comes to whatever you've invested yourself in. Okay, some of you guys with the Queen of Wands, I see you finding a new interest outside of work. Like you're gonna be discovering a new hobby or a new interest here that could potentially lead to more income. But there's also a message here not to overspend on it, okay? You don't have to overspend on it. Don't don't sabotage your, yourself in this area, okay? Some of you may feel like when you're really interested into something, you may overspend on it and then later find out you didn't need everything you bought. Yeah, Knight of Wands, out of impulsiveness. So take what resonates, of course, but it's like, I see you discovering a new hobby or a new interest, and it's like, it, it really excites you, but then you might end up spending too much money on it and later down the road realize you didn't need to buy all of this stuff, okay, for this new hobby or for this new interest. Keep your receipts, keep the receipts. Six of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. You could be returning something or you need to return items that you don't use. I don't know why this is coming out, but it's saying something about if you've overspent, return the items, don't, don't lose the receipt. Some of you guys, your bank, the reason why I want you to keep an eye on your bank account is your bank may make a mistake here. I know that sounds insane, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting some type of mistake or there could also be a mistake on your paycheck for those of you that are employed, okay, by a business. Keep an eye on your check. There might be a mistake there. 
So you might discover a mistake. Like, especially if you've recently got a raise or you've been promised a raise, keep an eye on your check, okay, and say something if something doesn't look right. I'm seeing you return something, okay? There's like something you purchased and, and you should return it. Don't put it off. Okay, that's, <laughs> let's see. Anything else for money and career for Sagittarius? Page of Cups. Only take what resonates, guys. There's a new opportunity to make more money. The cup energy tells me it could be through following your heart. It's through creative means, okay? It's true. It's, it's through, it, it's, it's kind of like it's creative, right? And there's potential to have long-term success here. Actually, for a lot of you guys, there's potential to leave behind a legacy with this, okay? But it's something new. It's something you are not, it's something new, a new idea, a new passion, because it's telling me you're going to discover a new interest, Sagittarius, and it could potentially lead to great success. Okay, a lot of money here. Yeah, per follow your heart, pursue your dreams. You okay? Justice card. Some of you guys, there's a legal situation that's going to pan out in your favor. I'm getting, this, are, this is for those of you that are already dealing with a legal situation. Now, if you own your own business, make sure you have your ducks in a row. Make sure you're saving your receipts. Get started on that early. Those of my business owners, make sure you keep up on that. You'll thank yourself when the time comes that you have to do your taxes, right? Because some of you guys, the advice it's telling me is to make sure you're saving your receipts, make sure you're properly logging everything. Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. I hate to say this, but some of you guys could have some regrets in the, uh, if you don't stay on top of things, this is for the business owners. You don't stay on top. You could be someone that waits until the last minute. And the reason why that's a problem is because you could end up shorting yourself in the long run. Okay, I want you guys, if this is resonating with you, my business owners, I want you to start getting more organized with the way you care for your receipts and your business in general, okay? Because um, there's something here about you needing to be more organized with your financial situation, needing to be more organized, or you will regret it. Because it's like, you wait until the last minute and then you could forget something or forget, like forget to log something. And you end up shorting yourself, okay? King of Pentacles. Overall, it looks good. Overall, your finances look pretty good, okay? But I think some of you guys may feel like you're in the middle of a hardship or you may feel like you need to penny pinch. If you feel that way, definitely do that. But I'm getting, I'm feeling the need to tell you to keep an eye on your bank account. Okay, keep an eye on your, the hours. You, those of you that go to a place of employment, keep, keep an eye on your hours. Keep an eye on, you know, your pay. Because I do feel like there's going to be some sort of, I'm getting like a glitch or mistake. Okay. Look at that. The emperor is here. Okay, I feel like somewhere along the way, somebody's going to make a mistake that you, you, you might have to pay for if you don't, like, keep an eye on it. So just keep an eye on things. Let's see. Let's see how people see you. Only take what resonates, y'all. Okay, how do people see Sagittarius right now? How do people see Sagittarius right now? Six of Wands. That you're winning a battle? 
people see you as confident or, or like you're an overcomer. You're someone who overcomes anything and everything, okay? So you're being seen as a success. I'm actually getting, you have a lot of eyes on you right now, or you could be one of those people that whenever you enter a room, you could feel like everyone's looking at you, but it's for positive reasons with the six of wands, if you're wondering. Three of swords, two. People just really see you as an overcomer. Like you're someone that may have been through many heartaches or, you know, lots of grief, but you always come out on top. You could be traveling and people are seeing that. Just side note, like if you're traveling, people are, are noticing that you've been traveling. I think that there's some people around you that are seeing you differently, Sagittarius, because the two of wands, the six of wands, three of swords. People are starting to take notice of how confident you are in the middle of grief. Or it's like when you're up against a, a major challenge in your life, people, people see you as someone who is optimistic that you'll overcome it. Like, of course, it sucks, but at the same time, you people see you as an optimist. Like you're a glass half full kind of person. There are some people that miss you from the past, okay? Someone who didn't prioritize you is missing you. They see you as someone they, they miss, they reminisce. They feel like they didn't think things through. Somebody from the past is second guessing their actions, Sagittarius. And so they see you as someone they miss. I feel like there's multiple people that miss you though, that, that are nostalgic over you. Yeah, the Page of Swords. You guys have people spying on you. Like, people are heavily focused on you. I don't know why, but it's like this energy of... Like, you have people's attention, okay? And it's not only people that are currently around you, Six of Cups. It's also people from your past. That, people from your past check in on you, okay? They find ways to keep tabs on you. And they think positively about you. What's interesting is the three of swords, two of pentacles, there are people that have hurt you. These people have hurt you, betrayed you in some way, or were deceptive towards you. They miss you. They see you as someone that they miss being a part of their life. Okay. The devil... King of Pentacles. There could have been someone really selfish, materialistic, like the shadow side of the King of Pentacles is materialistic, all for themselves. Okay, the devil's here. There could have been someone specifically that puts you in a third party Sagittarius. This person sees you as someone that they have really messed things up with. Okay, specifically. I'm also getting toxic. There could have been toxic family members or friends here. It doesn't have to be family. But the Six of Cups tells me it could be. But I'm getting like toxic connections, connections that you would view as toxic. These people betray, betrayed, betrayed you in some way. I can't talk, y'all. Um, they miss you. They see you as someone who's got away from them. Someone in particular that was really greedy. I'm getting a really greedy individual that thinks a lot about you. They view you as accomplished. Y'all have someone that secretly keeps tabs on you, that really hurts you. Okay, three of swords. You've overcome this situation. It's telling me you're over, you have overcome the situation. This particular person keeps tabs on you in secret. How you would know who they are? You would view them as selfish, greedy, toxic. All right. We got Capricorn here, Pisces. All right, air, earth, could be any sign then, all right? Let's take a look at the singles and new love. Let's 
Singles and new love for Sagittarius, please. Carrie, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, babe. I really appreciate that. All right, let's pull one of these for you singles. Spirit, God's universe, give me a message for the singles, and then we'll do the new love interest. I like to be thorough, okay, because I myself am, am obsessive, so, you know, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, let's see, single Sagittarians, single Sagittarians, what do you want me to tell the singles? Are you divorced? Specifically, those of you that have gone through a divorce, this person is looking the breakup, separation. Let's see. This is someone that used the silent treatment as a, I'm getting a divorce. You could be divorced from this person. If you're not divorced, um, the Grim Reaper wedding rings, this could just be someone that you, you might as well should have been married to them. Okay. I'm definitely getting a living situation. Um, this person used silent treatment as a weapon. Okay, it says stop the pattern. They miss you. That's why it's coming out. And, uh, you know, not to burst anyone's bubble, I think this person misses you more so because you were a big part of their life. Singles. Who's coming toward the singles? Who's coming toward the singles? Who is coming toward you singles? A Leo? We've got Pisces here as well. Someone, oh, I hate to say it, someone to waste your time. All right, they don't know what they want. Okay, this is someone that, like, they like to keep connections. They have a strong, like, they have strong affection for you. Don't get me wrong, like, there's a strong attraction. But the hanged man tells me this person is kind of like, they lack the ability to pull the trigger. Does that make sense? Like, they lack the ability to do much about it. You know what I mean? Um, tell me more about this. Thank you, PJE, for the super chat, babe. Thank you so much. Tell me more about this. The world. Okay, distance could be an issue. This could be a long distance connection. The world tells me it could be an online con There's someone online that has crushing on you, Sagittarius. Okay, uh, uh, you know, on your social media, or you don't see this person, or you don't see them often, right? But I feel like there could be some communication coming in from this person at a distance. They have a crush on you. I'm getting they love your personality, the strength card. They love your character. But the hanged man is here. It's it's like not much is happening. Or it's like this person lacks initiative or enough initiative. Like they're not fully putting in the work. Who's coming towards single Sagittarius? Yeah, this, okay, the Star of the Four of Swords. I don't think they're a bad person. Like, I feel like you have a special connection with someone at a distance, okay? Or that's how, if this isn't making sense to you, you may meet, you may match with this person on a dating site. For some of you, those of you, of course, if you're not on a dating site or you don't plan to make one, of course, that's not for you. But we're talking about those of you that are on some sort of dating site. I see you matching with someone and I do see this person really likes your personality, really likes your authenticity, but they lack drive. I think that's like they're one like I think you like them as a person, they like you as a person, but there's something about their initiative or they're they're lazy. They seem lazy to me. What are their next actions towards Sagittarius? What are they going to do toward the connection? The devil keep you stuck. 
So I think this is just saying if you're looking for a higher level of commitment and somebody does not seem interested in that, they just kind of seem interested in playing with you or interested in just a sexual based connection or sexting, right? Um, maybe sending unsolicited pics or if they're interested in that type of thing, I don't see much change. I think you'll waste your time with that type of energy. I feel like you should see what else is out there if you're dealing with someone that lacks initiative or if you're dealing with someone that only seems interested in sex, okay, or sexual things. I also feel like those of you that, are, if you're wanting commitment, be very weary of the people that come towards you and immediately want to initiate sex or immediately want to get naughty with you, okay, in some shape or form. These people are not looking for commitment. They're just looking for a good time. Now, if you're a Sagittarius that's looking for a good time, then this is a perfect opportunity for you. Y'all know um, the universe will send past situations back around in different forms to see if we get it. That's what I see coming towards you. Be prepared. My single Sagittarians, I think you want something specific, but the universe is going to send you a version of the past to try to see if an old version of you will bite. Okay, I feel like the universe is testing you to see if you'll take the bait. Have you really changed? Do you really want something different? Because you're about to get tested on that. Now, if you bite the bait of the person immediately coming in and initiating sex and, you know, not really seeming to be committal, I feel like there's this... Um, there's a lesson coming in to bring out an old version of you. A version of you that you may have thought you healed or you may have thought you let go of. Okay. And we have the six of... This is a part of your transformation. We have the six of swords, the death card. Yeah, I'm just getting like... Like you, you're telling the universe, okay, this is what I want. I want this, this, and this. But then the universe sends you something the opposite of what you claim you want to see if you'll take the bait, to see if you'll just settle and take anything. That's what I'm getting. Watch out for a Scorpio, a Leo, an Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn. I do see other options coming in, but this is the one that the universe wanted to point out the most because it was the most important message. Is that the only option coming? Absolutely not. There's other options coming towards you. Let's see. So if you guys have your eye on a new person, someone new that just entered your life, how does this new person see Sagittarius right now? They have a crush on you, Page of Cups. They think you are sweet, charming, beautiful, or handsome. The Page of Cups tell that's crush energy for a new person. They are crushing on you. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? Oh, the Knight of Cups. So wait a minute. Those of you that already have like a new prospect that you're crushing on, they're crushing on you too. Their intentions are the Knight of Cups to pursue you. Hmm. To have a new beginning with you. I think this person has fairly good intention. So this, this is for my Sagittarians that if you have a good feeling about this person, it feels new and exciting. Your intuition's correct. This, I feel like this person is pretty genuine. The Knight of Cups is their intentions. That's a genuine intention. This person just wants to get to know you. They want to take a leap of faith here and open up. 
Thank you for the super chat, Patricia. What are their next actions towards Sagittarius? What are their next actions? The sun. Oh my gosh. Whatever their actions are, it's going to make you incredibly happy. Okay, I'm seeing this person's next actions are to make you smile. This is a big old cheese on your face, okay? So those of you that do have a good feeling about someone, they have good intentions towards you. Okay? How do they feel? How do they truly feel about Sagittarius? But of course, if you have a bad feeling about someone, trust your intuition. Four of Swords, they feel overwhelmed, okay? Overwhelmed by this connection. Six of Wands, they really want it to go somewhere great, okay? This person really wants a successful relationship with you. I gotta say, they're so overwhelmed by the energy they feel. So overwhelmed. So I'm just getting like the new person is crushing pretty hard on you. Could be a Leo or I have... Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Leo is here. Could be a Libra for some of you. Thank you again, Patricia. Thank you so much. All right, let's take a look at the one with a past incident. The one with a past incident, please, for Sagittarius. What happened here in the past with this person? They went silent on someone quit talking. Silent. They hit their they what is this? The Empress. Someone that you developed feelings for quit talking to you. That's how you're going to, it's going to resonate. Okay, I'm also getting, they could have, you could have found out they were hiding another person. Or they tried to hide another person. But they quit communicating, okay, is what it's telling me. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? You're getting over, like, I mean, I feel like you're not as bothered by it. Three of swords in reverse, or, you know, you're slowly healing from this is what it's telling me. This person puts you in a third party. Okay. Yep. Three of cups, guys. You feel like they put you in a third party, but you also feel like you may have learned so much from this. Okay. Yeah. Six of wands. You still think you won. You're like, well, I won. I don't know why you think that some of you guys, this person is going to see some type of success or they have seen your success. Hmm. If you have mutual friends with the three of cups, these people are talking to this person. Okay. They could, there, there could be word of mouth of your success or something you're doing like, I'm getting your achievements. Somehow they know about it or they will see it. It'll be revealed. How do they currently see you? How do they currently see Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands? They see you as someone they're still passionate about. Four of Pentacles. They're trying to contain the urge to come back toward you. I think this person, they, look, they quit communicating. Now, some of you may have quit communicating with them, but specifically, I was getting who they are as they, they stopped communicating with you. Okay, or they started communicating very short, but I'm getting, like, silence from this person right now. Um, they have an urge to come back toward you, but they're holding back that urge. They're containing it. 
because this person on some level feels like they may have control over you. Okay, I know that's a harsh wording, but that's what I'm getting. Like they feel like they're, they feel like by them holding back, somehow they still have a hold on you, which is what their intention is. But you're telling me you're getting over it? How do they currently feel about Sagittarius? Two of Cups and then the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Fool wanted to come out as well. Fool in reverse. They just feel like you're no longer working on this connection. Okay. They're insecure about that. So here's the thing. Somebody ghosted you or withdrew from you after they provoked feelings. Okay, this person provoked romantic feelings in you. And then they went silent. Now it's telling me they're trying to control the urge to pop back up with the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. They're trying to control that urge. Do you know them feeling this like lack of initiative from you or it's almost like this person feels like you've gotten bored of the connection. Do you know this person feels so insecure about themselves because of that? They ghost you, right? But now that you're not chasing or you're not working on the situation with them, the connection with them, they feel insecure about that. They're like, wait a second. That blindsided them with the Eight of Swords. Your lack of communicating with them or your lack of initiative with them, it kind of blindsided them because I think they thought you were going to continue reaching out. Okay, I think they thought you were going to continue popping up, checking in on them. Some of you guys, I feel like that's what you did in the past. Maybe you were checking in on someone. And they thought that was going to continue. But once it stops... That blindsides them. I feel like, you know, guys, you know you're feeding this person's ego or you know you fed their ego in the past. You know it. So why are they trying to control themselves from coming back? Is what I want to know. Because this person has a strong urge to start something again. Like somebody wants to restart something with you. But the four of pentacles coming out with that, they stop themselves from doing it. Okay. Why is that? Seven of cups. The world, they don't think you want them. Or that, I'm sorry, they think that if, if they unmask, if you were to really see what they were about and who they truly are on the inside, it's like this person's self-conscious. Okay? Like, they, they think that you would slam the door shut with the world, or that you would, if they think that if you, if they were to come back toward you, that you would hold some type of... I want to say like, it, it almost feels like they would, they would feel like they would give away their power. Like they would give you closure. They don't want to give you closure because without giving you closure, with leaving you confused and in the dark, they feel like they have a sense of power over the situation. So this person is insecure that if they were to pop back up, you would shut them out. Because why wouldn't you? They know you would have every reason to. You have a legitimate reason to slam the door in their face, okay, if they were to pop back up. They want to pop back up, but they think it's wishful thinking that you would want to start this up again. Because if they were you, they would slam the door shut. If someone were to do to them what they did to you. Yeah, the hermit. They think you're going to ghost. So here's the thing. I think this person ghosted you. 
I think this person ghosted you and what their fear is, is you're going to do to them what they did to you. So this person is afraid of you slamming the door in their face. They want to pop back up, but they're afraid of you doing to them what they did to you. So what's their hidden truth? If you came to this reading wondering if someone has feelings for you that ghosted you, okay, two of cups, you know, I feel like the, there, there were mutual feelings there, okay, this person, if they ghosted you, meaning they quit communicating without explanation, they're just a POS, I'm just going to call it like I see it, okay, they lack maturity to explain themselves, that's the problem, could have been someone else here with the Empress, okay? But it had nothing to do with their heart feeling some type of way for you, because it does with the Two of Cups, okay? They just lack maturity to be real and open and honest. They'd rather keep things up in the air and, and in a state of confusion, because if they do that, you could think anything, you know? If they leave you without answers in their mind that you'll never really truly know, and therefore they think you'll still give them some type of the benefit of the doubt, you know? Has nothing, they, they had feelings for you. I'm getting they do still have, there's still a connection there. Like there's, you're st you still linger in their energy and on their mind. Don't think that you don't. This was, you know, the empress is here, the high priestess. There were, there was definitely a connection developed for sure. I'm going to pull a hidden truth card here. Let's see. Give me one second. Okay. Let's pull a hidden truth for Sagittarius. What does this person want to say to Sagittarius? What do they want to say to Sagittarius? I replay our conversations over and over. See, they, they still obsess over this, guys. They still think heavily about you and about the things you've spoken about. The connect they still think about the connection. I still have feel they had feelings for you then, and they still have feelings for you now. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius is here. Could have been another Sagittarius. Have some air. All right. What? It could be any sign as far as elements. Let's do all signs their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Now, I don't typically, I don't like giving trolls the time of day. I really don't. But y'all, I, I feel the need to say this because some of you guys that are actually dealing with this, Y'all know how crazy it is for people to like come up in my chat and say all these negative things because I'm like, first of all, you're still giving me a view. So thank you. Second of all, imagine how miserable you got to be to not like something, but be so obsessed with it. <laughs> and I feel like I wanted to say that because like Sagittarius, the people in your life that are like hateful or like they're haters, imagine being so obsessed with you but hating you at the same time. It's just, it's so bizarre to me because I couldn't imagine that type of mindset. Like the misery and the just demons that these people are fighting, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. But anyway, because I mean, I'm, I'm good regardless. 
regardless of what you come up in here and say, I'm good. You need to check your own self though. Okay. Like, I'm not even trying to be rude. Like, I mean, I just, I kind of feel bad for people like that. Okay. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. I think there is someone obsessing over you, Sagittarius. Like, I really feel that energy. Like, all the signs are pointing to that. Okay? I, I feel like this, someone is strongly obsessing over you. Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, they have a crush on you. Page of Cups. Or like you're pulling on their heartstrings. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, they're not going to take responsibility for their actions. Okay, I feel like this Taurus runs from responsibility. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're interested in you. I see communication, new communication coming in from a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're in love with you. The Cancer loves you, okay, loves you as a person. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I don't see the Virgo taking action, although they do think heavily about this. I don't see them taking action anytime soon, that is. If you're dealing with a Libra, very attracted to you. I see I see the Libra taking action. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they wait for you. So this is like a waiting game. You and a Scorpio are kind of just waiting to see who does what. I feel like if you just walk away from this, the Scorpio will take action. But as of right now, this moment, they're wanting you to take action. But I feel like if you walk away release it, they end up taking action. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, for some of y'all, if a Sagittarius ghosted you, I don't see them communicating anytime soon, is what it's telling me. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Aquarius rushing towards you to communicate. Okay. I see an Aquarius taking action and communicating. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're in their head about this, not doing anything, just overthinking it in their head about it. All righty. Those are your messages, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to do Capricorn after this. Thanks for liking the video. Bye.